Welcome to Tally Learning Hub. In this session, you will learn how to create ledgers in Tally ERP9. Just like you create different accounts to record your business transactions, we will create the same ledger accounts in Tally ERP9. The common ledgers that every business needs are customers, suppliers, purchases, sales, cash, and bank accounts. We are now on the gateway of Tally, which is the main menu of Tally ERP9. Let's start with a tip for you. For every option that you see in the menu, one letter in each is in bold. For example, in balance sheet, B is in bold and in accounting vouchers, V is in bold. These letters are the shortcuts for you to quickly go to each option. So, you press B for balance sheet, V for accounting vouchers and so on. Similarly, on every screen in tally, you will find a header menu and side menu. Here before every option, the keyboard shortcut is given. One underline means that you need to press Alt along with the key given and two underlines mean that you have to press Ctrl along with the key given. For example, you need to press Alt H in order to go to help and you need to press Ctrl K to go to control center. Now let's start creating ledgers in Tally ERP9. Press A for accounts info, press L for ledgers, press C for create and now Let's create a supplier's ledger. Type the supplier's name, press enter. Select a group for the ledger from the list. The group helps to identify the type of ledger we are creating. Since this is a supplier's ledger, let's select the group as creditors. To select the group quickly, type the first few letters of the group and the list filters down. Type the supplier's address and then press Y to accept the ledger. Similarly, let's create a customer's ledger. Type the customer's name. Since this is a customer's ledger, let's select the group as debtors. Type the customer's address. Press Y to accept the ledger. Let's now create a purchase ledger. Type the name of the ledger as purchases. Select the group as purchase accounts. Press enter and press Y to accept the ledger. Similarly, let's create a sales ledger. Type the name of the ledger as sales. Select the group as sales accounts. Press enter and press Y to accept the ledger. Let's now create a bank ledger. Type the name of the bank account. Select the bank account group. Next, there are certain optional details you can enter such as your account number, IFSC code and bank name. These are only required if you want to use Tally ERP9's banking features such as check printing, automatic bank reconciliation and e-payments. Enter the account number, the IFSC code, select the bank name now here's another tip for you. At any screen in Tally, if you want to save what you have entered, you can press Ctrl A and if you want to go back to a previous screen, press Escape. Let's accept the bank ledger settings by pressing Ctrl A. Let's now go back to the previous screen by pressing Escape. At any time, if you want to see the ledgers you have created, you can select Display. You will see that in addition to the ledgers you have created, cash and profit and loss account ledgers are also displayed. These two ledgers are available by default when you create a company in Tally ERP9. You can also make changes to a ledger by selecting Alter. Also, in case you want to create multiple ledgers under one group, select Create under multiple ledgers. For example, let's say you want to create rent, conveyance and office expenses under the expenses group. You don't have to create each ledger one by one. Select create under multiple ledgers. Select the group as expenses indirect. Type the name of the ledgers one by one. Press enter, accept the screen and that's it. All these ledgers are created at one shot. At any time, if you want to see your chart of accounts, press escape and come back to the gateway of tally. Press D for display. Press L for list of accounts and your chart of accounts is automatically created containing all your ledgers. In our next session, you will learn how to create stock items and stock groups in Tally ERP9.